with lives. So I'm going to create with you guys. I have these two things. Um, we have this little bunny and this actually came from like a grocery store in a part of their little home decor section. And this is cute on its own. This also came from a grocery store and we're going to create with these. You guys, um, we're going to use some napkins because they're amazing to create with. And we are going to be using some moss. So let me show you. Let me show you first before we get started. Let me see. Hold on. Look what video, or we just posted this class, okay? So on April 2nd, the week before Halloween, you are going to create your last Easter piece, and we're going to create this together, okay? So this is a $10 pop-up class, and you can join me and learn how to do this. We're going to paint with palette knives. It's going to be so much fun, and I am super excited about it. This is really, 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 hello, hello, come on in. So if you want to learn how to paint this, it is in the shop. It's a $10 class that we are going to, you don't get any supplies. I'll give you a supply list, and I'm going to teach you how to put this together on your own. All right, so we have these two pieces, and I've already started tearing this off because we're going to dress this up a little bit. I even like this bow, so we're probably going to keep the bow, and we may even still put this little bunny butt back on, but I don't need this on it. So let's tear all this off as best we can. We don't have to have it all on. Hello, hello, my friends. How are you? So we are streaming live on um, YouTube and on TikTok. So this is going to be fun. This is going to be interesting. It's fun. And then as soon as I'm done here, I'm going to go play some top golf with my boys because it is their spring break. Well, one of their spring breaks. The other one is an adult, but he's going to go hang out with us too. So I'm super excited. Hello, hello. Okay, so I got the majority of that off and we also have these, but we have to paint these because we can't, um, we can't put our napkins on these the way they are because you're going to be able to see these lines in them. So we're going to go ahead and put a coat of white paint on both of these first. We'll get that done. And then while it's drying, we will dress up our bunny. How's that sound? So it may take a couple coats to do your white paint just to cover up some of the green. I got these where we live. There is a grocery store called Dylan's, and that's where I got these. They kind of lay together. Hello, hello. But think about when you're at the store. Now, these are fine. I, I could have bought this and used it. I love the colors. It was cute, and we could have used it as is. But I'm going to show you how you can take pieces like this and just kind of make them make them a little bit more your own make them a little bit more your style okay let's get this dried up how are you guys hi marilyn hi susan we are not over on facebook right now because facebook has been funky so we're trying some different things out hello hello my friends you guys can't hear me. Hmm. I don't know why you can't hear me. I think the people on YouTube can hear me. I'm not sure why you can't hear me on TikTok. These do need a couple coats. But look, that dried so fast. You can see that you can still see the green through it. So that's why we're going to do two coats. And we have to do both sides because of the way this egg lays. So we'll get a couple coats on here and then we'll put it on the other side. We'll turn it over and then do those. You guys, I'm gonna put the moss on the bunny and then I'm gonna put the napkin on the egg. It's gonna be so cute. It's gonna be so cute together. 
Okay. I think you can still see a little bit there. Let's try to do a little bit thicker. That whole side you can still see a little bit. Okay, I think that's better. Let's get this dry and then we'll turn it over, all right? You're here, you're here. I'm so glad you're here. How are you? I am gonna pull something up on my computer right in front of me because I don't think that my sound is working. Is it? I don't know if it is. I don't think it is. All right, this is going to dry really quick. Sure, let's see. Oh, yes, the sound works just fine. It told me that the sound wasn't working, and I think it's working perfectly. So we're just going to ignore that. Sound is good. Sound is good. Good, good, good. Okay, so this one's almost done. You can barely see some of the green showing through. So we're going to call that good because it doesn't have to be covered completely. I want it pretty dry though, because we got to paint the other side. Okay. My alarm started going off. Pick your kid up from school. Time to pick your kid up from school. Yes, I'm that mom and I need that reminder because um, that's just what happens sometimes. We get to working, and I got to have a reminder. Uh-oh. So this side has, um, hello, hello. This side has a tag that we're going to take off. Oh, that's so easy. Don't you love when they come off easy? Oh, this one's not going to, though. Let's do this. Let's warm it up a little bit. And then it'll come off super easy. Look at that. Take your heat gun. Don't burn your hands. And just warm it up a little bit and it'll come right off. Oh, Susan, I know. So I am over on TikTok as well. And there you can see my face. I'll share it with you guys when we're done. How about that? Okay, that's a little sticky, but I think it's going to be okay. Let's just do that a little bit. Let's just sand it a little bit because we don't want that stickiness on there. All right, let's do our coat here. And we need to do the sides as well. Because they're, they're green. And we don't have any, we're going to be using this napkin. Y'all, this napkin is beautiful. So I thought this would be really pretty on this Easter egg. And so that's what we're going to put on the Easter egg is that napkin. So one of the things, even if, say this was a black Easter egg, I'm just throwing out a color, you definitely want to put a coat of white underneath any time, any time you are doing any napkin art because it's really gonna make the colors on your napkin pop a little bit more. And so um, just make sure you always use white when you're doing that. Hello, hello, my friends, how are you? All right. I'm not gonna worry about painting inside here because you're not gonna see that at all. Hello, hello, my friends. I'm so glad you guys are here. So we're trying out a few different things in the social media world because things like to change in the social media world. You all know that. You find somebody that you wanna hang out with and see create and watch and then 
the world changes. <laughs> And they're like, nope, you can't see this person anymore, even though you've said you want to. And we just got to make do. So we're going to adapt and accommodate. Make sure that if you are not following me, that you hit that little button, you hit the button that you subscribe, follow, whatever, um, whatever. And y'all know I have a text list too. So if you want to see me create every time um, I'm going live, then make sure that you're on my text list. That number, you can just send a, t a send the word join to my text number. And it's 913-354-5633. And I will send, hello Debbie, I will send a... Um, a live alert every time I'm going to be live, either whether it's here, whether it's um, whether it's on Facebook, whether it's on uh, TikTok, whether I'm on Instagram, whether I'm on YouTube, wherever it is, um, we will do that. The crazy usernames, it's hard to see who I am. On all my social media channels, it's the Ruffle Daisy. So the only one it's not is Instagram. And that one is still, it's the Ruffle Daisy KS because I'm in Kansas because I don't know, there was another Ruffle Daisy that was taken. So, but we're really the only true Ruffle Daisy. Okay. So we're going to go ahead and do the sides real quick. And then while this dries, we're going to, because I want it to be really, really dry before we do the next step. Oh, and I just got my fingerprints on it. Okay, so let's leave that there. I already had that one painted. And then we'll go work on our bunny while this is drying. And then we'll go work with our napkins on this piece. So I believe we are done with the white paint. We are not going to be using any more white paint. I'm a huge fan of trying to clean up after myself, and I am not very good at that ever. So, who are we? What do you mean? <laughs> um, I'm still learning this. I'm still learning. I'm still learning all the ways to stream for you guys. Um, so, if you're new here, who am I? What do I do? So the Ruffle Daisy is me, and I teach people how to DIY their destiny. It is helping you DIY parts of your life, be making beautiful things for your home, but also DIYing the relationship that you have within yourself and the relationships um, that you have with those around you. So it means a lot of things on this page and i can tell you firsthand that the ladies that follow me absolutely bleh, absolutely love it here so i know that you are going to absolutely love it too if you like um making things pretty if you if you know that you need to fix some gunk inside of yourself we're the great page we have a great community and if you know that um Yo, we can DIY every part of our lives because we are never, ever, ever going to be perfect, ever. So if you guys are watching on YouTube, this is the live and someone over there said, love that you're doing this on YouTube. Love seeing it from this view. Um, oh, it is hard to recognize us with some of the usernames. I totally get what you're saying now. So sorry about that. Yeah, usernames make things funky because, yeah, they're like, you need to have a username. You can't just use this name. I know. You're like, who is this? Because most usernames are like uh, a series of letters and numbers. So, oh, you would love this paper. Yes, it works like a charm. It cleans up so nice. I absolutely love it. Okay. I'm going to show you once more. Check this out. Look at this bunny. This is absolutely beautiful. We're going to learn how to paint this April 2nd. This is a $10 class that you guys can take from me. Um, so I'm super excited to have some new people in there. I am on TikTok. Woohoo! First time I've been live on TikTok. 
I'm also on YouTube. What did I do with my moss? Here it is. This is the moss we're going to use. I grabbed, oops, I almost dumped that. I grabbed this at Walmart. It's a big bag of moss. Okay, we're going to use it. Let's see. Let me try to open it and not dump it everywhere. So you guys are kind of getting two projects for the price of one today because I'm actually doing two pieces. We're going to do a um, napkin piece and we're going to dress up this little bunny. Okay, so to do the bunny, we are going to coat it all in um, moss. Now, probably should have thought this through a little bit. Let's move these out of the way just a little bit more because I definitely don't want to get moss all over those. And let's put these up because these are the napkins we're going to be using. They're so pretty. They're so pretty. Oh my goodness. Some of you got the napkins and you love them all. Thank you for the flowers, my friend. Um, yeah, those are in our napkin club. And so it is really fun. I send out napkins every month and we create with it. And this is going to be one of the projects that we're doing. Okay, I'm doing a lot of Mod Podge. I'm putting a pretty hefty coat on here. And just because the moss, you're gonna need quite a bit of Mod Podge. It's not like scrapbook paper or anything like that. So I might have even just gotten too much, so. And we may have to do this in a couple layers. Let's just pull some of this moss out. Let's just cut it. How about that? Let me just cut it. Move on. And we will lay it on. Wow. I feel like we're going to need to bring our um, little vacuum out and vacuum up our table before we do our napkin because this is going to be... This is going to be a mess for sure. Oh, you're so sweet. Okay. Well, this is funky. It's like, it feels wet, you guys. That's so weird. It's like rolled up in a... Hmm. You guys, there's all kinds of moss. I like that one better. We're going to work on that one in a little bit but I like this one better. So we're just gonna cover this little cutie. And we may have to do this in multiple steps. We'll see. You guys, I have been known to make things live and they are huge fails. Um, so this doesn't want to stick very well, but we're going to get, we're going to get it. We're going to get it done. We're going to put a lot of moss or a lot of glue on here. It's because the moss won't stay, um, like it's not all touching the surface. So if you want, you could have painted the bunny like a green color. That way, if you saw any of the moss through it. Okay. Okay. Let's just start breaking this up in little pieces and putting them on the bunny. This is going to be so cute. Press, press, press. Press, press, press. It's really hard to see comments. Now, when you're using moss, sheet moss would have really worked good for this. You're gonna have pieces that um, wanna fall off naturally. So just know that. We're gonna let this one dry. We're gonna trim it and then we're gonna add some more. So we're gonna kinda work in layers in this. We're gonna see how this looks. Press, press, press. Okay, I still see some white through. Let's put a little bit right there. And it doesn't look like a bunny right now because it's kind of over the edges, but we're going to trim all that up. Don't worry. 
press it way down. You know, one thing that might work is our iron. Let's iron it down. It's probably gonna make it a little bit flat, but that's okay. It will fluff up um, once we can get it to fluff back up, I promise. Oh, some of you guys got the napkins and you're loving them. That is so exciting. I love finding the napkins for you guys. This might take a hot second to warm up. My little mini iron that we have here. We're just going to iron this down a little bit. Sheet moss probably would have worked a little bit better. Thank you for the flowers. Um, sheet moss might have worked a little bit better. And the sheet, sheet moss just like comes in a sheet, like a piece of paper. And so it's really easy to, you could put the bunny on and trace around the bunny and then cut your sheet your sheet you guys this is so cute i know it looks ridiculous right now because we need to trim all around the edges because you can see on the back it's like um that's gonna be so cute it's gonna be so cute i think we're gonna let this sit to the side right now and let it dry a little bit more and then let's work on our other piece and then we'll go back to this and finish it up i think that's probably so it's a good thing that we have a couple things that we're working on. We can work on them in stages. But first we gotta clean up our mess because that is a big mess. Let me get my little vacuum out. If you guys don't have one of these vacuums, you hear that? It cleans it all up. Oh my goodness, it's everywhere. Look. There is no remnants whatsoever that I ever use moss now. It's gone. Thank you guys for the flowers. I love them. Okay. Let's move all my junk out of the way. Y'all, I got a mess. I got a mess. All right. Now we're going to do our eggs. And I am probably going to even incorporate this middle. Let's put the middle in the middle. Duh. Yeah, I think we should put the middle in the middle. That's really, really cool. Or we could put the middle on one side. That might be cool. Like this stripe, that might be really cool. Okay, so we're gonna peel apart our layers. I do not remember how many layers these are, so we might have to um, play with it a little bit. Let me get my tape. I am so glad you guys are here. I hop on at different times sometimes and I never know who's gonna be around. Okay, there we go. Look how easy that came off. And I don't think, let's see if there's another layer. I don't think there is. There is. So this is three layers. Now when you peel your napkins apart, they become very translucent, which is why I say that you need to put a, um, we might have to do all four napkins, you guys. That's why I say to put a coat of white paint because that's just very translucent. And when you put it on there, look, it just brings that white back out. I think we're gonna do all four. So let's go ahead and just get our the rest of our, I'm glad I brought four napkins. So when you guys, if you're in the napkin club, you only get one. Um, unfortunately. Well, you get 15 or 10 napkins, but only one of each one. And I am going to use four on this one. So hopefully, maybe you guys can find some smaller wood pieces. I have tons of wood pieces in my shop that would look amazing with the napkins. Hold on. Let's use my little tool here that I love. Isn't this a stunning napkin? I love it. I saw it and was like, this has to be. This has to be in my napkin club for sure. Okay. 
Ooh, this one's wanting to be finicky, so it might take us a minute. I don't want to rip it. Listen to that sound. I love that sound. You're liking this view. I'm so glad. Okay, so there's two down. And we're going to do four because we're going to cover all the sides. And I think that we're going to make this line go down the middle. I think that's going to be the best, I think. We'll see. Mm, I think I got both of the layers off with this one. That's a little bit nuts. You guys, I think I need to go uh, buy a lottery ticket. Because there have been a few things today. My mom even was like, you need to go buy a lottery ticket. Because, oop, this one got a little bit wet. Probably for my baby wipe, but we'll just dry it real quick so we don't tear it. And let's see if we can get both of them off on this one too. Nope, just one. Anyway, we were packing subscription boxes today. If you guys have subscription boxes that if you are a member of our subscription group, then boxes went out today. We're going to be doing a macrame um, rainbow, and it's so cute. I cannot wait to do it with you guys. It's going to be so cute. And the freebie that is in the box this month, y'all are going to love Did you get a text saying your subscription box was on its way? Yep. Napkins should be too. I sent a bunch of them out last week. I did some more today. So yeah, we have lots of ways that you guys can get creative here because I want you to be able to come here and find all the ways to be creative with all the things. We teach painting, we teach napkin, we teach wood stuff, we teach all kinds of stuff here. So I'm super excited. Okay, what we're going to do now, we're going to do the dry Mod Podge method. So we are going to cover our piece that we want our napkin on. We're going to cover it in Mod Podge, a pretty hefty layer of Mod Podge. I mean, you don't want it dripping down the sides or anything, but we're going to put a pretty decent coating of Mod Podge on here, and then we're going to let it dry. And then we're going to use our iron to adhere the napkin to our wood piece. This is so much cleaner than any other. Oh, you received your napkins yesterday. Yay. This will give you an idea of when to work with. I got this little, um, I think, oh, there's missed a spot there. Make sure you get it all covered. I think I missed a spot there on the edge. Um, I got this little cutout from Dylan's the grocery store. Oh, thank you, Debbie. She said, this is an awesome place and you'll be glad that you're watching. I love you, my friend. And if you want to meet in person, we have an amazing event coming up this August. Um, I'm super excited for it. You can come see me in person, come craft in person. I have some amazing, absolutely amazing surprises in store for you guys, and I'm so excited. Okay, these are almost dry. So one of the cool things about doing the dry Mod Podge method is that you have the ability to maneuver your napkin around so uh, on a surface that's dry, you know, if you have ever used Mod Podge before and you use the wet method, um, once you put this down, you can't really maneuver it around. So we're going to put the center of our napkin right in the center. And we're going to press it down. And then we're going to cover this with some parchment paper. And then we're going to iron. We're just going to take an iron over it, and this is going to reactivate the Mod Podge that is on your piece. Thank you so much, Debbie. 
You're going to reactivate the Mod Podge that's on your piece, but it's just cleaner. It's so much cleaner. This is going to be really, really cute with this down the middle. Let's put this one to the side. We're going to get all that gunk off here in a second, but let's go ahead and put this one done too. Again, we're going to put this right in the middle. If you need to measure, you can. We're just going to eyeball it. There's a little bit of wet Mod Podge right there. But that's not going to affect it. You can still do this method. There was just a little bit that was right there that was wet. I do have these techniques on how to use Mod Podge on my website. And along with a couple others. So we have done them with like saran wrap that's a fun way to do them doing them with saran wrap okay i'm gonna take a little i was gonna take a knife but we're gonna just kind of this is where it went together and we're gonna sand all that off that one might be a little bit difficult to get in there but i think it'll be okay all right, so now we're gonna take our sandpaper and go at a 45 degree angle, always going down. If you go up, you take a chance on ripping your napkin that you just took the time to adhere. Look at this, oh my goodness. This is gonna be so cool. Look, napkin's gone. And this, honestly, I think I'm just going to adhere some Mod Podge in there, and I'm not even going to worry about sanding that. We're just going to push that down in there because it's going to be much easier than trying to sand it in the little grooves there. We don't, we don't have time for that. We like things that are quick, although I will tell you that typically on my lives, my life's going to be like an hour, hour and a half. I told my husband the other day, I said, I'm going to do a quick live. He's like, Elizabeth Ann, <laughs> are you sure you're going to do a quick live? Because I really don't feel like you know how to do quick lives. I was like, I promise, I promise, I promise. It's only going to be, you know, 20 minutes. Okay, I put a little bit of Mod Podge down there and I'm just pressing this down. It's just easier than trying to get it sanded in there. Okay? And we're also going to do the back, too. This is going to be so amazing. Isn't it, Teresa? I love it. It's going to be so pretty. All right. Put some here. Put some here. Press it down. Let's use this little, my little, my favorite tool to press it down. Okay, because you know, if you use Mod Podge and it's wet, it's going to stick to your fingers. Oh my goodness, this is already going to be so amazingly adorable. Look at this come together. This is going to be so cute. Let's go ahead and take it apart. Okay, let's do this side now, and we're going to do the same thing. Oh, an emery board might work. Yeah, for sure. Inside the, um, the grooves there. Y'all, maybe I should cut some, I probably won't cut Easter eggs like this, but I could cut Easter eggs like this for you guys that have the cutouts that they stand like this. That would be, that would be fun. Maybe we'll have to do some flowers or something. All right. Now you can see why on the white napkin we painted our background white because if you hadn't you're going to see the number one you were going to see the chevron that was on this piece that we bought and even if it was like a dark brown you still would have been able to see the dark brown through it it wouldn't have made your napkins as vibrant so that's why i recommend always doing a coat of white paint or very pale, like pink. This would have been okay to use like a pale pink color, um, just because there's some pink in it, but just make sure it's a light color. And I got a little bit of dark here for some reason. I'm not sure where that came from, but 
That's all right. Hello, hello. I'm so glad you guys are here. Okay. Almost dry. Debbie, I absolutely love them. They are so stinking cute. I fell in love as soon as I saw these napkins. Well, let's do this one first because that's the one I ironed first. When I saw these napkins, I knew, I was like, those have to be... Oh, let's do this. So this has a little signature of the artist on this napkin. And it was upside down the other way. I don't care if her signature's on here because they're beautiful napkins. Goodness, we need to give her some credit for these beautiful napkins. Her name is Sarah B. Thank you, Sarah B. You created some beautiful napkins. I don't know who she is, but I'm so glad you're here too, Gloria. Okay. It doesn't take a lot of time. Like, you don't have to sit and lay your iron on this for like a huge extended period of time when you're doing the napkins because it's such a fine layer let's see let's do this one this way oh these are so cute so today as soon as i get off we're gonna go i packed subscription boxes this morning and my mama helped me if you guys have seen my mom, she helps me. Subscription boxes are packed. We're going to go. It's spring break for my kids. And so we're going to go play some top golf. Have you guys done that? Top golf is so much fun. If you have a top golf in your area, you should go play because it's so much fun. <coughs> we're doing that. And then probably tomorrow we'll go play chicken and pickle. They may know what chicken and pickle is. So much fun. Actually, I don't know. I've never played chicken and pickle. But my husband went last week with his work for a meeting, and he said it was so much fun. So I'm going to wrap. I'm done with Mod Podge, I think. So I'm going to wrap this up in my baby wipes so it doesn't... Keeps it moist since I don't have a cup of water down here. Okay. Let's wrap. Let's do these. Oh, isn't it so cute, Michelle? I love it. I love it. I love it. I love it. All right. Let's go ahead and sand off the edges of these. Put it together. And what do you think? Should we put my signature edge on it? I bet we should. Maybe this bright pink color? I might have to make that color. I don't think I have that color in my stash. But we mix paints all the time. We can make that color. We'll take a pink and then just add a little bit of red to it. That's what we'll do. Tear that. Oh, we do need our Mod Podge. Hold on. I do need it just a little bit because we need to um, glue these down a little bit. Give it a chance to dry a little bit. There we go. On this side. Use my little tool to press it down and press it against the edge so it sticks. There we go. Oh my goodness, this is so stinking cute. And our bunny is going to go with it so well. Our bunny is going to look so cute with it. Okay. Let's finish this one. Um, let's sand it first and then we'll Mod Podge that center down. Yes to my signature edge, somebody said. <laughs> For sure, I will be doing this. You guys, look, there is still stuff here we can use, okay? So if you have other little pieces, like if you had a little flower wooden cutout, these would look adorable on them. I'm going to throw it away because I have enough, but um, your scraps will come in handy quite a bit. Okay, now let's get this side pressed down. And now this will fit together really well. 
because um, it should fit together really well. The napkins don't take up a lot. This is a pretty tight fit, but your napkins don't really take a lot of um, like mass. They're really thin. Oh, these are so cute. I love the way that's down the middle. I love it. All right, so we are officially done with the Mod Podge. So let's redo that. All right, let's do our signature edge. There is still, here, we need our vacuum again. We got all our dust from our sanding. All right. We're going to create our signature edge. I'm going to mix a little bit of paint. Let's get, um, yeah, we're definitely going to let the center dry before we put it together. We're going to take a little bit of this. It's called pink eraser and we just need a little bit. You guys, I will, I'm the pro at pouring too much paint on my plate, but Let's do a little bit of red and see, see how that looks. Let's mix it up and see. Well, I had one of these without the pokey thing, but I don't know where it went. So I'm trying to create a pink that looks pretty similar to that. And I think this is perfect. So I just took a little bit of pink and added some red to it. And by golly, it's perfect. I love mixing paint. You can come up with so many different colors of paint when you mix. All right. We're going to take this, hold it at a 45 degree angle, and then drag down the side. Now it just gives a little bit of character, adds a little bit more color to the piece, and kind of frames it. We are going to do all the sides. So we're going to do the front on these and then we're gonna let them dry and then see how it just made it pop. Just added some color to the sides. I'm gonna show it to you up close. Oops, let's do this one. Dip your favorite crafter's tool, which is mine, inside. And then just drag at a 45 degree angle across you can do, you can add more, you can do a little bit. This is all kind of what you want. So can y'all see that? And let me try to do it. So cool. Okay, let that dry for a minute. It is gonna take a little bit longer to dry just because you're kind of layering the paint on versus brushing it on, um, but it shouldn't, it shouldn't take too long to dry. We'll hit it with a heat gun uh, before we're done. All right, check out this cutie. I can still see a little bit of brown through it, but I really don't care. I think it's fine. So we're going to get to cutting. And I think I'm going to use some of these really sharp scissors that I have. It did bring out the center, the pink in the center. So we're just going to go around here and cut all this excess off. Now you guys, you can save this, okay? You can save that because you can use it on other projects. Now I also said that you could paint like the sides of your bunny if you wanted. Because then like the sides of this one are brown. You could find it and paint it to where it's the perfect, the perfect green. And then if we have any spots that are kind of missing, we can throw some more Mod Podge on top and adhere it that way as well. well I may show you because there may be some, there may be some bare spots in here that we need to cover with a little bit more Mod Podge. We'll have to see. So I always, when I do this technique on the edge, I always use a color that is in your piece, like this one I used the uh, pink, but use an accent color that, I'm going to put a little bit more here, a little bit more here, and a little bit more up here, because it does need a little bit more. 
let's get our y'all I probably shouldn't even be putting this away but whatever it's fine so this may take a little bit longer to dry since we're layering but we're just gonna put a little bit on there make sure that if you do it this way you don't put your um, Mod Podge or your paintbrush back into the Mod Podge okay I don't know that that is gonna stick very well there we go I got too much on there let's do the whole iron trick again because I like that it did really make it stick so let's do all of the spots where I want I want a little bit more there. Um, yeah, I'm sorry we don't do that here on this page. Um, there we go. Let's do that here. Ooh, we could do that egg as a monthly kit. It's kind of too late now because that would be a really fun idea, though, for like next year. That would be fun. Okay, put that there. Put this one here. And then let's iron it again. And we may have to trim up trim up the edges again, okay? Yeah, it would def that egg would be really fun to do as a kit. Okay. Let's hold it here for just a second. Oops, I'm getting pink paint on my, <laughs> it's all right. All right, this Mod Podge right here might take a little bit to dry, um, but I think it's good. Let's make sure my glue gun's on because we are going to dress this up. Okay, we're gonna trim a little bit more. I think that's good. Trim that spot there. There's a spot. There's one. Oh my goodness. That is so cute. Look at the bunny. You guys, it was a cute little bunny that I got from a grocery store. But you guys can probably find them. Well, you guys, I have bunnies in my workshop. In my shop that you could definitely decorate like this and cover in moss. Okay, I'm going to put this moss back in here because it is definitely usable. However, this stuff isn't. So we're going to iron this up. Not iron this up. Y'all know what I'm talking about. We're going to vacuum it up. Boy, I'm going to need to empty this out when I'm done. All right. Let's dry these. Do the other side. Finish our bunny. And then um, we can put it all together. Okay? Okay. to get these to stand up a little bit while they're drying because this side may not dry completely. Hello, hello my friends. I'm so glad you guys are here. If you love DIY, if you love all things DIY, this is the page you want to be on. I'm telling you, we have lots of fun here. We have tons of fun here. Okay, so now we're gonna do it again on this side. And this is a technique um, for some of the new people that um, it's never perfect, but it always creates a perfect finish. Um, it may be something that you may need to practice a little bit, but it is so easy to do. Okay, we're gonna stand this one up over here, maybe. So it can dry. Okay, we'll stand that there. Let's do this one. Oh, this pink is perfect, you guys. Don't be afraid to mix paint. Don't be afraid to make a color. What's the worst that's gonna happen? You might waste a little bit of paint if you don't like it, but if that's the worst that will happen, 
because typically you can keep adding to it or adding different colors to make the color that you want. So, okay, where am I gonna set this one now? Hold on. All right, I'm gonna set this over here. And then, you guys remember these we did live, our little carrots, they're adorable. You guys, these are um, light bulb ornaments and we made carrots. They're so cute, I love them. These are so much fun. Okay, so now I want to, you know what I could do? I could paint the side of this white. Um, cause I want to bring in some white. I want it to be a little bit more, uh, vibrant. So I think I'm going to create a bow and I'm going to put this behind it. Let's try that. Let's cut, let's cut two of these. And let's just scrunch them together a little bit. Let's go ahead and get a piece of twine. We don't need very much because we're going to use the little burlap, kind of burlapy bow that was on it when it came. Right. I'm just heating up this twine and stretching it so it kind of un unbends, unfolds. Look, it's pretty straight now. See? Not as many bends in it. Okay, so we're gonna do this. We're gonna put that one that way. We're gonna scrunch this one up as well and put it across like this. This may be super big, and I have a feeling it's going to be. We may need to trim this a little bit. So we're gonna tie these together. Yeah, it looks like it's gonna be awfully big, but that's okay, we can, we can trim. I don't know. The big bow might look cute. We're just gonna tie it in a knot. And then we're gonna hot glue it on. And then we're gonna glue this on the top of it. And that's it. Put our little butt back on it, our little bunny butt back together. And y'all are gonna be amazed at how easy and quick this was. Okay, I'm gonna bend this. I am gonna fold it up and trim it a little bit. There we go. I made it just a little bit shorter. You really like this one a lot. I'm so glad, Michelle. The napkin is really pretty. It's one of my favorites. There's a couple napkins this month that are super, super stunning. That's still awfully big. I think I became, um, what's the word I'm looking for? I think I wanted a really big bow, but it doesn't need to be. This is kind of a little bunny. Okay, that's cuter. You guys, it's cute just with that. Oh my goodness, it is so cute. There is so much texture in this. That is really cute. We may not even put this bunny thing back on it. Let's see. How, why is it doing that? Is it coming untied again? Hmm. Well, that's crazy. All right, we're gonna put a blob of glue right here in the middle. And some of it's probably gonna fall down into the little crooks and crannies and crevices of my moss, but that's okay. It's just gonna help the moss adhere a little bit more in that area. Oh, now this is adorable. This is so cute. Oh my gosh, I love, love, love when things come together so perfectly. Oh, and that does look cute on it. Oh my goodness. Let's trim these just a tad. And we're gonna add another blob of hot glue there. And, whoops, which way should we put it on? That way? Yeah, I like that way. Oh my goodness, that's so cute. But we could have used twine. We could have used regular twine and made like a loopy bow. That would have been really cute. Thank you for following me and subscribing and all the things. I'm thrilled that you guys are here. 
All right. And looky there. Y'all, I think I kind of like, do we like the bunny butts? I don't think so. I think I'm going to leave it without the bunny butt because I think it's absolutely adorable. Look at that. Oh my goodness. So much cuteness. That is absolutely adorable. Okay. We will save this bunny butt for something else, but let's go ahead and put this together and then you're going to see how it all comes together and how it looks. We could add more stuff to this if we wanted. We could add ribbon. We could add, I think this is dry. That one looks dry. Let's check this one. It's pretty darn close to being dry. Do you love it? I'm so glad. We could have done the inside too. It does look like he's wearing a tux with his blue with his bow tie. You could put the signature edge inside here if you wanted. But look, we're gonna see it come together. It should come together really easily because ooh, oh, oh my goodness. Look at that. That is so cute. You see the center stripe. Susan, the March subscription box, I can, I can send it to you. If you send me a message, I'll send it to you. It is in the group. Look at that. Is that not the cutest thing ever? Look, you got your little bunny that you can sit nestled in with your, um, with your, Look how adorable that is, you guys. How fun. How fun. I think this is one of my favorites. I think this is one of my favorites. I love it. Um, I hope you guys liked it. Make sure you're following. Make sure you're